So in this video, we'll try to generate pulse with an Arduino. So we are basically will use the pin number 10, which is this guy right here to go to generate the pulses, then read the pulses from pin number three. So we'll generate it from here and read it from pin number three. Hello everybody, this is Alfred. Welcome to the channel. Today we will be talking about generating pulse with an Arduino Uno and specifically Arduino Uno. So I am using Arduino Uno board and you could use whatever board you want. Well, not whatever. You could use what board you have and see if this works for you. Uh, I know for sure this will work for an Arduino Uno. First off, we want to generate this pulse with a library we are going to be including so we want to include a timer one library all right we want to do this the easy way so if, let's go ahead and create our variables go ahead and comment it so that code will not read it or the program will not read it if you comment it constant and so let's see uh, um, constant int at at pin number three all right so this pin will be responsible to generate the pulses you know then we'll have another int in pin so we will use this pin to read the pulses so one pin cannot do both at the same time so we need a pin that generates it we need a pin to read it so that we can actually see what pulse we are generating so in order to show the values which is ones or zeros or you could say high or low so let will start with zero no signal no no signal being seen by the pin so it's value of so, so as as expected values will be ones zero and one so this will be low and this will be high make sense all right so we need a serial dot begin so this essentially sets the serial data transmission so in the begin function you want to use a specified baud rate it's up to you i am using 6900 baud rate but you could use whatever baud rate you want yes a couple baud rates you could use and the second the second function we would like to run at startup will be pin to configure the pin mode so the output out pin excuse me we want it to be out put and this is Ad Arduino code um, configuration. So this Arduino Arduino expects this configuration for the pins to know what they what you want to use the pin for, is either for output output or for input. Now we want some kind of mechanism, even though we'll be, you know what. If, let, let's let's do it sequentially like we did first. So, so now we would like to use our. Do you remember when we included this library? Now we are ready to use it. So we want to use our timer one dot initialize. So we want to initialize the time interval. We need to generate the, this pause so and this time interval is actually in microseconds 
so you want to do the you know i excuse me one divided by um, f so time is equals to one divided by f so you could do the math to find out the frequency this is i believe this is um one k hertz and uh, one one thousand cycle per seconds so time interval so with this with this you'll be generating 1000 cycle per second um, pulse um, pulse signal so you could play with this how whatever frequency you want your pulse to be you could play with the time and set it appropriately so in microseconds so when you initialize this timer again from this library so you also want to set it to do what you need it to do so this will be a pause with mod modulation function so now you want to tell it the pin number remember we want to use pin output pin we want to use output pin but i feel like this is backwards I changed my mind. I want this to be 10 and this to be 3. I already have a sketch drawn that represents this, so I want it, I want this to be 10. <laughs> I don't I do not want to redraw the sketch. Um, okay, so that will be 10. So now we want out pin. We want to generate the pulse from the ad pin. Remember, okay, let's let's comment on this. Generate um, pulse. Re, regenerated pulse signal. Let's let's put the signal. All right, looks good. So now this is our pin for the for generating the pulse. So now you want to specify the duty cycle. So we want fifty percent do recycle this um send pulse to this to this pin with a 50 percent due duty cycle this is all we have for the setup code we initialize our serial serial transmit transmission we initialize our pin our pin will be pin output and we don't need to read this anymore we sorry we don't need to read it we just need to generate it and uh, and uh, no, no 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 we need it never mind we need it so here we go so we just need to generate it and be able to read it right because we cannot use one pin to do both okay good all right so here on the loop we want to constantly read our, our pin value based on our diagram we have this wired to this so essentially this generates the pulse and this reads it right okay makes sense all right now we want to say value remember this value will be changing value values is equals to dg read then you want to read whatever this pin is saying in pin all right that looks good right and that should be it so now we want to see what we are reading so serial print then value values then we also want to put in a print line this just puts a a new line to the display so that we can so that we see the value line by line all right and this is it this is it this is it
all right so now we want to upload this i have the arduino connected to my computer it's is in com port number three so let's go ahead and verify this now it does want us to save it so let's call it um pulse generate the generator let's do v2 or v1 it's fine all right so it looks like i have something going on here so i have capital i instead of here we go so hmm. oh right here i do not have this finished so arduino expects a complete line of code to be finished interesting what is going on here print values invalid use of print interest oh <laughs> tap it a small letter p here we go Mm -hmm. All right, looks like it's case. Looks good. So let's go ahead and upload this to our Arduino. So it's done uploading. So let's go ahead and open up this. All right, if you could, if your file can catch when it's changing to one, and I have this running, so I don't have any delay. So it's running full force. So let's go ahead and stop this. So you could see one. And it stays for zero and it changes to one so something that i want to try let's go to tools let's go to serial plotter and here you go you could see the change in in pulse oh, this is beautiful you could you could see the the pulse and so this is basically two 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 and remember this value um, is always uh, changing whenever the pin reads you know reads one so and it's it's changing at the at the uh, falling excuse me no it's, it's good so as you can see we are generating some pulse pop, 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 pop. and uh, and that's it Hope this was useful. Let's see. Let's change the the time period. Let's bring it down to so this is this is microseconds. So let's try milliseconds. Let's try one milli. So this is One million microseconds. Okay, let's go ahead and upload it. Let's go ahead and see what it looks like. Yep, it's a longer wait. Let's go to tools. It should look about. Yep, right there. Here you go. Here you go. Isn't that beautiful? I think I'll make a video to kind of like show the characteristics of the of the pulses but this uh, this particular video is getting longer so I will stop here hope this was useful um, you could you know pause your video and copy this if you need it and um, thank you very much and have a very good day